Thank you very much, Kay. So that's a very quick tour of what the consumer uh, is concerned about and how it's being addressed and how the scientists are addressing it. But then the next question is, uh, what can industry do about it? Uh, as has been repeatedly said, many of these methods are in use in industry and have been integrated into uh, supply chain management systems. And they've also been transferred to INCO countries, the importance of which is that the INCO countries that supply a lot of things uh, to Europe, for example feed, are using the same methodologies as we are using in Europe. And that is an advantage in terms of uh, assurance for the consumer that the methods that are being used are validated. Uh, methods have also been used in outbreak investigations. For example, the Clostridium botulinum test has been used in an outbreak investigation in France. And uh, also follow-on funding has been looked for and obtained for commercialisation of some of these uh, products. Uh, now I'm going to show you a short video uh, from an SME that actually uses some of these uh, methods. The important thing to remember that this is just one example and this example could be repeated uh, all across Europe. The major goal of these key deliverables is that they should be widely exploited by the small and medium-sized enterprises to produce safe food. If this method succeeds, it will result in an improvement in the health and well-being of the European citizens and the competitiveness of the food industry. But this is not an easy task. At the beginning it was a bit confusing because um, coming from an SME is uh, you don't really, um, you have uh, the professors from the universities and research people and it's, uh, it was a continuous question in my mind, how are we going to chain, chain up with these people? But after the first year and um, uh, everything worked out perfectly and uh, we had given S SMEs our demands in the areas that uh, we were facing some problems and uh, then throughout the, the project and uh, with the uh, research output then at the end uh, we see a lot, of, uh, a lot of results that they can be applied to food industry. Okay, thank you very much to Andres for uh, his contribution in that. And just again to remind you that his experience with the methodologies uh, can be replicated across Europe. Move on. Sorry, slight technical glitch uh, to get on to the next slide. Okay, so that was, as I say, uh, just an example of uh, how the um, methods can be used. However, there's the unfortunate fact that a lot of industry can only use uh, standard methods like ISO methods and IDF methods. So a lot of the methodologies, are, uh, while they are in use in industry, in industry they are in in-house uh, food safety management systems. And uh, that's another aspect of work that has been undertaken in the traceability projects, uh, some study on food safety management systems. Uh, and this was really to address the requirements of different stakeholders because uh, regulation might uh, request uh, one food safety management system and a retailer might uh, request a second different food safety management system. So the aim of the, the, this was to, to compare and contrast uh, food safety management systems and to allow the industry to select the best one that suits all the different stakeholders and to provide them with tools uh, to do this tools to diagnose the performance of their food safety management system and therefore select the best, the best food safety management system for their purposes. Uh, this, this system uh, is fully validated and it's freely available online if any of you want to have uh, a look for that. And one of the important aspects of it is that it empowers the SMEs to improve the performance of their food safety management system, further assuring the consumer of the safety of uh, food. So just a, a small short conclusion. 
Uh, we have outlined a lot of information, particularly with regard to advanced methodologies, but not ignoring other aspects as well. The research that we have undertaken in the traceability projects has shown that these methods actually work. Uh, the challenge for everybody here in the room in particular now at this stage is to transfer uh, these validated methods from the laboratory into standard methods so that they can be used more widely in the industry and this will require a concerted uh, effort on behalf not only of the scientists who have developed the methods, but also on behalf of the policy makers that uh, have the power to uh, develop and implement standard methods. Thank you very much. Uh, Kieran and Kay, thank you both. Uh, for